Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pi Revolution. On this tutorial we're going to cover how we can solve the n queen problem. So if you're not familiar with the n queen problem, it basically involves putting queens on a chessboard and not having them kill each other. So the problem goes like this. You have n queens on an n by n chessboard and you have to arrange them in such a way that they cannot uh, kill each other. So over here you can see the queen, no other queen falls on the same row or the same diagonal and that goes with every single queen on the board. Now in order to solve this we need to find a format to represent this data. For this example we have chosen the following. So each element represents um, each column on the chessboard. So for example you see three over here. So this represents like you are on the first column and counting from the top, you're on the third row, 0, 1, 2, 3. As you know, in Python, we count from 0. Then the second column is 0, so it should be at the top, right over here. Then the third one, the third column is a 4. So third column and the fourth row and here's your queen and you keep on doing that on this eight queen problem because you have eight queens and an eight by eight chessboard. Now let's look at our Python code. For this we are going to need uh, the permutations library and I'll tell you in a bit why. We are going to do an eight by eight so n will equal to eight and we initialize our number of solutions as zero and our column will be range n or range 8 which basically says we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 um, id columns. Now let us uh, iterate through each of the columns, each of the permutations of the columns. Now here's where it gets interesting. The reason we're using permutation is because if you look at each row if, and find the permutation, there is no way you will be on the same row. For example, if we have all the queens on this table and we have the coordinates and we just uh, do a permutation as in just switch all the columns, it will be the same situation as in none of the queens will kill each other along the rows. After we solve the row part, we have to look at the di diagonals. Sorry, when I meant row, I meant uh, over here rook moves. So go straight up and straight left and right. That's a rook move. Now next is a bishop move, which is going along the diagonals. So after we go to the permutation of each of our coordinates or each of our columns, we basically first create a set. So if you're familiar with basic geometry the equation of a line is y equals to mx plus c where m is your slope and c is your y-intercept so it's the same thing here so combo i basically is your c as in your intercept and the i will be your slope for i in columns. So for i for each of the columns. So over here we have a positive slope as in the bishop goes upwards from the bottom left to the top right and the other one is minus i which basically goes from the top left to the bottom right. And the reason we're using set here is because if we have a queen that goes in this diagonal and another queen also falls in this diagonal those two numbers will equal to each other and what set does is if you have a repetition in the number as in you have five and five happens again then you one of the fives will be cancelled out and you'll only have one number so basically set will give you a list of unique numbers now if n is equal to this value and this value as in the positive slope and the negative slope that means we have a unique value as in we have a unique number of solutions the reason is if any of the queens fall in the same diagonal you'll have less than 
n solutions are uh, n equals to eight here so you'll have a list which is of lengths less than eight so if we complete both criteria as in the pri the permutation and which is the rook move and the slope which basically is our bishop move will have a solution so we add one to the solution and we basically use this string to create a table and show our solution so i'm going to run this code right now and here you go our first solution is 04752613 and basically it shows you okay first column zero throw second column um four oh so basically it's a transpose so this is our column so zero and then fourth here and the seventh here and it keeps on going until you go through all eight rows and let's see how many solutions we have so let's just go to the bottom and we have 92 solutions now there are actually less solutions than that because we haven't taken mirrors or rotation of the board into consideration but this is a quick start so maybe if you want to play around with this puzzle and solve it further there are a lot of good resources online and yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe to this page and this ipython notebook is on our description so see you next time